Hey everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer, and I want to talk about a subject that is a sore subject for a lot of single PC gamers and streamers, and that is render lag. So a lot of people are mistaking render lag for problems with their encoding settings, problem with their network, causing drop frames. It's really not that at all. So let's talk about render lag. Let's talk about some ways that we can try to minimize it, and uh, hopefully we can try to make everybody's streams a little bit smoother, and their gameplay too. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so what is render lag? Well, don't get it confused with drop frames, which is related to your network mostly. Do not get it confused with encoding uh, frame loss because that is related to specifically your, uh, your output settings on OBS and your video settings and how your encoder just can't handle that. Uh, this is strictly related to the amount of GPU resources you have available. And the big issue right now, especially with games like, uh, let's say, Battlefield Five, which I have an issue with, Apex Legends, which I had an issue with, and with games like Minecraft, which I've heard a lot of people complain about, is that it when Windows sees that game running, it gives all the GPU resources to it, and everything else that is left fights for that 1%. That is, you know, OBS, uh, any browser programs you may be running in the background, um, even Discord, um, all those use your GPU to render, you know, the, the video that you see from those UIs. So it's hard to get around all that when you're using that for monitoring your stream, uh, you know, you're using it for music, that sort of thing. So single PC game streamers, you need to kind of think about this. What can I do to reduce the graphics load if I'm experiencing this with a game that I'm playing? Okay, I'm going to show you a video here. This is me playing Battlefield Five yesterday, and simply by just starting the game and sitting in the main UI, I was overloading my my GPU and putting it up at at its max, and OBS didn't have anything else left to use to render my preview so you can see that the frame rate the fps i was set to 60 was dropping down to as much as 55 and you can see that the uh, frames that were missed due to rendering lag was excessive i mean it, and it, that would cause you to not have a smooth looking stream even though your bit rate looked fine your output settings looked fine and it felt like that you were getting a good connection to the twitch server it would still look choppy, and that's because of uh, render lag. So anyway, how can we fix this? Well, uh, really, there is a few ways that we can help to minimize it, to mitigate the issues, but to truly fix it, um, there's nothing that you can do without ruining or lowering your experience overall especially for you guys that have spent money on a 1440p 144 hertz monitor or a 240 hertz monitor 1080p whatever 4k monitor you're running you know those crazy resolutions and it's a lot of load on your gpu the only way you can really do that is to lower the resolution of your game um so that it reduces load. You can also, as far as OBS goes, you can use, if you're using OBS Studio, you can disable the preview. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, you disable the preview by enabling performance mode, which you know is the same thing as uh, disabling the preview in OBS Studios. They both have the same effect. Um, those will reduce the amount of load. But if you're already at 99%, you know, you're fighting for that 1%. I don't know if really doing the performance mode is going to help out a ton. Uh, the main effect that you will get is by reducing settings in your game, lowering graphic settings, uh, lowering the resolution, capping your frame rates, that sort of thing to lower the overall graphics load. And even a little bit will help. Um, as much as 5%, like if you're running at 95%, as long as OBS has enough resources to render your preview you should be okay but um, I, by lowering my settings i was able to get my gpu down to about 80 85 percent and i didn't see any stuttering in game i didn't see the uh, i didn't see the render lag the frame rates maintained at 60 fps uh, so that should you know that's really where the main gain is for lowering that a couple other things too 
now is that the latest 1903 update that came out with Windows 10 fixed game mode. So game mode actually works now. So you can uh, turn it on and it will help to uh, allocate resources better, uh, including, you know, OBS. Uh, so you should see a better performance by using game mode now. Likewise, the uh, high performance power profile uh, was, wasn't was working properly uh, until recently where it wasn't actually giving uh, full power to your uh CPU or allowing your CPU to use full power. Now that works too. You can turn, you can now enable your high performance and it should work properly. Uh, but really, uh, you know, it's kind of a weird position we're in right now because we want that high frame rate. We want high graphic fidelity. Um, but right now, if you want to do that and maintain a, maintain a smooth stream, you're going to have to reduce that a little bit to give your viewers a better experience overall. So anyway, that's really all I want to talk about, guys. If you have any questions about it, uh, let me know. If you know of any other ways that you can think of to reduce the amount of graphics power, I do recommend this, though. Just to give you an idea of all of the stuff on your computer that's using your graphics card, uh, start up a bunch of programs that you would normally run while you're streaming, and then open up Task Manager. And in Task Manager, you can see everything that's using graphics. Um, simply by looking to the right side and it'll tell you how much GPU resources it's using. So that'll give you an idea of just all the resources that are there that could end up hurting your overall experience. So it might be a good idea for you to, you know, close some of these programs while you're gaming and streaming at the same time. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give me the thumbs up, hit like if you enjoyed this video. It helps out tremendously, encourages me. It gets the video exposed to other people. Share with people who may be having this issue that you know of, especially if they play something like Apex Legends, which is a really big culprit of this here recently. Um, you know, and for me, like you know, Battlefield Five or Minecraft, um, they're pretty heavy on GPU right now. So share it, like it. Another way that you can support me if you want to do that monetarily, as some people have expressed interest in doing is by supporting me on Patreon. I, I do appreciate what my Patreons are doing, um, and I do offer some nice little perks in there, uh, especially as you go up in the tiers. So if you're interested in that, check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the frugal streamer. Also check out my website, the frugal streamer live. You can check me out. You can get all my YouTube videos there. You can watch me live stream there. Uh, the chat is there. I got my merch there. It's all in one spot. If you want to go check out everything I, I offer. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a great weekend. Be safe out there and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.